Glasses or no glasses? There's always a glare. I keep my head down like this. Double chin, no glare. Regular chin, glare. No glasses. Hi book friends, I'm Erin and this is Erin Go Read. Today I'm going to do the ultimate Harry Potter book tag. I was not tagged by anyone to do this because nobody knows who I am. So I just thought it'd be a fun thing to do. Got my Goblet of Fire t-shirt on. I actually had to decide which Harry Potter t-shirt to wear for this. So this was the winner. It was clean. So first question is your favorite book. Um, I think it's a tie between books five and six for me. I just love the, you know, it's getting darker. We're getting more of um, the wider wizarding world involved um, and uh, like teaming up um, good guys, basically. Um, least favorite book, I'm gonna have to go with book two on that one. Um, it's just, it's kind of like the bridge between, um, you know, we have like the, the, the first entry in, in like wonderment and you're a wizard Harry of book one. And then in book three, we, we start getting into the, to the darker matters of things with prisoner of Azkaban. And so chamber of secrets is kind of like the bridge between, of course, I love in the earlier books where we have a lot more of just kind of the innocent boarding school fun times with the kids at the school and in their classes. So that part is um, is a lot of fun. But I mean, your least, fa Harry, your least favorite Harry Potter book, not bad. Um, least favorite movie, um, book two or movie two is the same thing. The only thing is the ending of Prisoner of Azkaban where they have, we have the time turner and they have to go back and we're kind of repeating it's a little bit tedious for me. Um, you know, it's, it's still a great movie and everything. I just, I always kind of like, oh, we have to watch this again. But then I always really enjoy it when we do, you know, when they're watching the, themselves and you see all the little links, you know, like, you know, when uh, Harry and the Patronus and, you know, he knew he could do it because he'd already seen himself do it. So again, your least favorite Harry Potter stuff, it's still like awesome. Um, and then favorite quote, you're a wizard, Harry. That's always one that, for, uh, that I first think of, um, but I really like, perhaps those who are best suited to power are those who never sought it. That one's in Deathly Hallows. And of course, happiness, I have on the front of my notebook here, a sticker. Happiness can be found even in the darkest of times if only one remembers to turn on the light. Question six is your favorite Weasley. That would be Molly Wobbles. Um, favorite female character. I do really like Molly Weasley. Um, I mean, Hermione and Luna, of course. I really like Mo Mo uh, Molly and Professor McGonagall are just like badass. I don't know. And maybe it's just because I was a little bit older when I read them. Um, I almost feel like I identify a little bit more with the adults than I do with the kids. Uh, favorite villain, that would definitely be Bellatrix. Favorite male character. Um, I mean, outside of, you know, Harry and Ron, I'm gonna go with Lupin. Favorite professor, that would be McGonagall. Although I mean Lupin too, but McGonagall because she's in the whole the whole way through. Um, now we have a would you rather section. So would you rather wash Snape's hair or spend a day listening to Lockhart rant about himself? Um, first of all, an entire day with Lockhart. Washing Snape's hair isn't going to take an entire day. I mean, it might take a while, but... We do have kind of a similar hairstyle. Mine's a bit cleaner, but we can fix that with a little shampoo, some conditioner. So yeah, I would wash Snape's hair. Maybe he just needs a little TLC. Let me turn that frown upside down. Would you rather duel an elated Bellatrix or an angry Molly Weasley? Well, you don't mess with Mama Bear. Um, I'm gonna go with Bellatrix, although it might be the last thing I do. Would you rather travel to Hogwarts or, uh, would you rather travel, would you rather travel to Hogwarts via the Hogwarts Express or via a flying car? I've actually thought about this while reading the book or watching the movie, and I think as fun as it, as it would be to be in the flying car, it's gonna get old. It's a long trip. 
uh, from London to Hogwarts and they're gonna get bored and there's nothing to do. There's no food. They didn't pack a lunch. So yeah, I would definitely go with the Hogwarts Express. Um, you have the sweets cart, you can hang out with your friends, you can take a nap, put on an invisibility cloak and uh, get into some mischief. So yeah, I'm taking the train. Would you rather kiss Voldemort or give Umbridge a bumble bath? I take Umbridge with this question. They both sound pretty awful. And imagine how like sickly sweet, like flowery, rosy, bumble, uh, don't put up Umbridge's bumble bath would be. But I mean, I guess I'd have to clean her up. Um, and would you ri rather ride a hippogriff or ride a firebolt? Definitely a firebolt. So back a million years ago, my husband and I had um, a game called Quidditch World Cup on our GameCube. And remember the GameCube and the, the discs were like, they were like tiny. Um, um, I, so we would play this game um, like all weekend long and you know, week, weeknights too. And I just remember my, um, my thumbs would be like so sore and there was even the pad of the my the pad of my thumb um, would get really sore because of the way the controller was on the on the GameCube. It had like like these concentric circles on it, and so it would kind of like make your thumb pads like raw. But anyways, so we would play this game, and you're flying around, and it was so much fun. Um, and I would dream of flying through the air um, playing Quidditch. So definitely a firebolt. And then um, I'm going to skip that, those movie ad adaptations questions. The next questions are related to Hogwarts. Which house was your first g gut feeling um, that you would put it, be a part of? And definitely Gryffindor for me. And then if you've taken like a quiz or Pottermore or something, um, what house have you actually been sorted into? Gryffindor all the way. Which class would be your favorite? Um, I think anything with wands. So I think Transfiguration or, or Charms I would really enjoy. Um, which spell do you think would be the most useful to learn? Akio. Akio. Beer. Akio. I don't know. Apple. That was lame. Um, which character do you think you would instantly become friends with and why? So my first instinct was, Her was uh, Hermione. Um, just, you know, bookish and... Like, you know, likes to read, likes to get straight A's or whatever grades they have. Um, but I think we're probably too similar. And so we probably would actually end up like butting heads. So my next thought is actually Ron um, because, you know, he's just like chill and laid back and we could like hang out and just like be cool. Um, so yeah, I think Ron and then kind of like a side character, I think maybe it's something like someone like Angelina Johnson, um, you know, like one of like the jock girls, um, you know, I imagine myself as a Quidditch player. So um, I guess we, I guess we would be friends. Um, and then there's some miscellaneous questions. So if you could own one of the three Hallows, which would it be? That would be the invisibility cloak. Is there any aspect of the books you would want to change? Um, I think I would go with the epilogue. So I understand after seven books and you know so much, so many years and um, hours and hours and hours that, and we put our hearts into reading those books, the epilogue was kind of there to maybe soften the blow. And we had a little bit of closure in knowing where our beloved characters ended up. But I think the, um, all of the coupling that went on was maybe a bit much and um, we could probably do without that. If you could bring back one character to life, who would that be? I think it would be a Lupin and he could raise his son and, um, you know, be there for Harry. So yeah, I want Lupin alive. And Hallows or Horcruxes? Well, I'm not evil, so Hallows, please. Okay, here's a note on the movies though. So in book, or mo the seventh movies, you know, like movie seven and eight, um, there's one thing that really bothered me is that it's called the Deathly Hallows. And, but so much of the movie is focused on the Horcruxes and 
more so than it is in the book and obviously they have to they have to cut some they can't they can't keep everything in and i understand that but in the in the movie like they have one of the deathly hallows and it's not even mentioned like they're using one of the deathly hallows and they just i don't know there's and there's lots of them like walking around and of course it's it's visual because it's a movie so we have to be able to see them um, but there are plenty of times where in the book, um, you know, when Ron, Hermione, and Harry are, are like hiding out in the woods and like camping and all that, that they're always moving under the, the invisibility cloak, but in the movie, they're not. So anyway, that's my only thought on the, on the movie adaptations, but of course, no movie adaptation is going to be um, perfect. So that is the ultimate Harry Potter book, ta book tag. I am a big fan. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. See you around the tubes.